Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero. When we last left off, we went into the water door and then discovered after we finished the episode that there was something left in the room that we didn't explore because it's like, well, there's nothing in that room, and then we left. Turns out, there was. So we're going to go back and get that now. Uh, actually, we kind of need Rebecca, so we'll, we'll just bring her along. I should have grabbed her at the start. So I decided to reload the earlier save file because I, I just have a feeling that I took some unnecessary hits and I can do things better. It, it's not really necessary. Usually you can find a way to get around things even if things are looking extremely dire. You can beat Resident Evil with a knife without taking a hit, but it's not, okay. it's not super easy. Well, actually it's really hard. So we'll take any advantage we can get at this point. Swap back to Billy, leave Rebecca here for a moment. I said, Let's split up. Okay. So, okay. Billy wants to go into the first room with the zombie. Grab the vice. Don't get stuck on the wall. Then go into the piano room. So if we head in here, uh, we should be fine. Hopefully. Hello. I, d I do like how he's just standing there. Oh, he literally blocks vision. Yes, that was much better. Excellent. Worth it. Until we get hit by the, the next leech zombie and kill him. Here. I believe after we get in here, we can let Rebecca back out. Uh, we'll get Billy to play this. So I'm actually not sure where to go. I just looked up a guide quickly after I finished the last episode. He's like, oh yeah, by the way, grab the thing in the other room. It's like, oh, there's something in that. I still think that Billy and Jilly should go and play a duet together. Okay, so let's go grab Rebecca and hopefully not die. I think we've got... Uh... Okay, did you not hear what I just said? Hopefully that wasn't too much damage. It didn't look like much damage. It was a lot of damage. There was a lot of damage done. I just used the blue herb and the green herb. Good job, me. Now, this is what we want out of magna bullets. Lots of them. Thank you. So I think I remember, I don't know if it was actually in an episode that I filmed or whether I just did it off camera, but I do know where the battery goes. Well, I know there's somewhere that a battery needs to go, but I can't remember exactly where it was. I mean, technically we could just leave Jill, uh, Rebecca in there for a while. I feel like old Resident Evil games, like Remake and Zero, and even Resident Evil 4, they're, they're both like extremely campy and fun, but they're also really classy, <laughs> and I like that. Like everything about the, the decor of these rooms. If this was Resident Evil 7, there would be like pig's intestines on the, um, on the bench. And the, the wine bottles would be filled with blood. And the battery would be inside a man's stomach. Okay, 
so we'll try and go to the room that we wanted to. I think it's this one. I think there was at least one zombie I saw. Two zombies? Two zombies. Wait. Four. Excellent. Okay, this looks like... Ah, okay. There we go. This frees up an inventory slot, which is nice. It's the obedience tablet! Hooray! Let's give it a quick examination just to just to make sure. Whoops. A tablet depicting the slave, the word obedience is inscribed. Okay. Oh! Was that shotgun shells? This room was the most worth room I've ever been into in my life. I'm so happy. All those workers' protests paid off. Things are finally coming up, Billy. Except I left my shotgun shells. Shotgun downstairs, I think. That's alright. I'll be coming back in a second. I think the water zombie, or the leech zombie or something, comes after we enter this room. So hopefully we enter this room, leave, and then never have to come back. Meaning that we don't have anything left over. Okay, so hopefully we will find a green herb at some point. Because red herb and green herb makes a... Uh, basically a first aid spray, which is excellent. If I have to leave this bottle behind, I will do it. Because I think we picked up bottles with no gasoline. Okay, that's fine. Is that all we need in here? Or is there something else? Oh, maybe I should check. No, I don't need to check. Right? No, there's nothing left in here. Oops, mouse off screen, thank you. Kind of, I don't know, well you can play technically the game with the mouse, but I don't think the mouse really helps you point and click or anything. So I'm not sure why the mouse control is here. Ow. Thank you. You just take up so much space for something that is so skinny. How much damage do I take? Oh good, not much. That's actually fantastic. Uh, we can leave this in for now. Let's swap back to Rebecca and get her out of this room without dying to the zombie in the hallway, right? We wouldn't die to the zombie in the hallway. That would be embarrassing. Ha! Uh, oh. Ah. Uh. Rebecca, go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we never have to go in here again, except if we need bottles, but we don't. Follow me. Yeah. Uh. Alright. So where do we go now? I think we need to dump a bunch of stuff in the. the the item box room, as we will now call it. Do I want to save the game? I, that was a pretty good run of it, but I don't know if we want to save quite yet. I think we can get some more stuff done. I'm feeling confident. Should have saved, should have saved, should have saved. No, we don't need to save. Okay, so what do we have? You have this. Uh, wait, that? Okay. Wait, leave the magnum. 
bullets. Leave this. Leave this. What do you mean? Did you just say I can't leave any more in this room? Leave. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. This is great. Don't worry about it. Why though? There must be some kind of like bizarre memory limitation from the GameCube. That's weird though. Why is there a limit to the amount of stuff I can leave in a room? Uh, we'll leave this here for now. Do I kind of want to pick up the shotgun? Maybe. Oh wait, did I drop the- oh no, no, okay. Who's got the battery? Rebecca? Give me the battery for a moment. I distinctly remember going outside, but I think it might have been on one of those runs that uh, I lost progress in and died, so therefore I didn't upload. Or I didn't, like, keep going with it. Let's so split up. Roger. If we get in trouble, uh, I feel like we should run. But I'll just grab the shotgun just in case. Actually, before we do this, let's go back to the room with the animals and then try and figure out this puzzle. Maybe I should do that off camera. I quite like solving the puzzles, but it's too difficult to think out loud. This room is scary. I don't like it. It reminds me of the basement area in Resident Evil 7, which was fun. Okay, so I feel like, uh, so bird captures snake, so whichever one has cunning, I feel like the panther is cunning or is it the snake? Alrighty, so, uh, lowest of the totem pole is the poor Bambi, Bambi dies first. Switch, use this, thank you. Um, then Wolf eats deer. Wait, we'll just read it again. My sharp wits, which is cunning, allow me to bring down even the greatest horned beast. Well, I mean, there you go. So Wolf eats deer, but horse escapes wolf. Because no amount of cunning can match the speed of my supple limbs. Okay, there we go. All these Professor Layton games are coming in handy. Then the cougar says, I'm the king of all I survey. No creature can escape my grasp. No creature can escape, therefore cougar eats horse. Okay. Concentrate, Billy. But what can take down a cougar? I creep up in my victims in legless silence and conquer even the mightiest of kings with my poison. So a snake kills cougar. And then this one's easy. I dance th freely through the air, capturing a legless prey. There you go. Excellent. That's nice and easy. Let's 
Let's see through what's through the door in the back. There's nothing to see here. I don't really, uh, value my- I value my ammunition more than whatever that room may hold. Which hopefully isn't anything. A bottle, uh, relevant. Okay. Why is there blood stain on the bed? It's a bed, the sheets are stained with blood. Well, I, I did actually ask why. Okay, we got the thing we needed. What can I drop? Goodbye, bottles. Did you just pick... Make up your mind. This is so, so much in this... Oh, Unity tablet. Made in Unity. Tablet depicting a night the word Unity is described. There we go. Uh, yeah. I don't think we want to go in that room. Was there anything for relevance? Yeah, nothing. Although that was what we came to the conc mm. Thankfully, we have uh, got a bit of a stockpile of handgun ammo. That's nice. I could probably give Rebecca some, but it's a waste. Well, it's not a waste to give it to Rebecca. It's a waste to give it to whoever doesn't have the upgraded uh, handgun. And since Billy has the upgraded handgun... Billy keeps the ammo so far. So, okay. Can we leave this? Gray! Pleasure doing business with you. If things get bad, we leave. I think there was a slot on the outside of this room. I made some remark last time I came out here that I was like, better not be dogs as soon as I open this door. <laughs> that was always a, a thing I was fond of in my original Resident Evil playthrough. I opened the door to the mansion which let the dogs in. And then I just, I just left the dogs in the room forever. Because I didn't want to kill them. What good dog that is. Well, actually, they were extremely bad doggos. Huh. Interesting. Wait. I actually kind of just wanted to pick up like drag the box? Can I not do that? Guess not. If I can actually make it through this episode without something going horribly wrong. Oh no, what did I say? I said the thing. What do you mean it's Oh. I 
I kind of want to see what's up here. This might be a bad idea. But I mean, it's a thing that we can do, right? They wouldn't let us do it if it wasn't worthwhile. Right? Technically, there is something out here. But what? There is nothing. Okay. Guess we go back down. Guess Mr. Billy goes back to box pushing duty. I said Mr. Billy goes back to box pushing duty. Do your job, slave. Nothing like a good box pushing puzzle. This has been a very relaxed episode of Resident Evil. Like, I feel I feel so good. It's amazing. Nothing's gone wrong. Uh, we've got everything that we wanted. We've barely taken too much unnecessary damage. Billy's pushing a crate. Everything's good in life. I think our playthrough is on the up and up. I'll just get on top of the box. And pick up the thing. I'd be so sad if he had didn't have enough space in the inventory. Excellent, that's great. Okay, now get off. Come on. Roger. Wow. We did it! Is that all three tablets? Let's so, up. Roger. This no. Roger. 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 So we want to go um, to that circular room. But I think we saved the game first. Because that was fantastic. I guess this is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this part. And we'll be back shortly.